Caro, my first question is, there's a little bit of showmanship that goes on to uh, help Footy Classified be the great show that it is, and we all know that when we're in the media, uh, we do take things to a certain level, but uh, this has gone way beyond that from uh, the way I'm reading it. Well, before I say anything else, Dwayne, and um, I don't agree with everything Brad Scott said today, but I do agree that I, if I did imply, and I shouldn't have implied, that Steve Saunders, their high-performance expert and head of medical medicals at North, was overruling the club doctor. Um, I absolutely accept that he doesn't. I attempted to clarify that last night. Um, I don't think I did a very good job of it, clearly, from what Brad said today. So I apologise to Steve. Um, I don't think he has overruled the club doctor. I simply, as I said, and I absolutely accept that, I simply disagree with the model James Brayshaw put forward in his comments on radio on Saturday. And um, so to Steve, I'm sorry. Uh, to Brad, I don't think I have a vendetta against James Brayshaw and um, I have been a critic of his and I don't think North Melbourne people switch off when I talk about North. I mean, I've written stories about North Melbourne this year where the club has been quite happy with the coverage and, in fact, thanks me, thank me for responsible coverage. But in, in I realise this is a very sensitive issue, the sports science one, um, North have got, you know, one of the most respected, and I'm not just saying this because he's had a go at me today, but Steve Saunders is obviously one of the leaders in his field, and I absolutely accept that he works in tandem with the North Melbourne Club doctor. So, Caro, what, what is your issue with the model that they have out there at North Melbourne? What's the major concern that you have? No, I, I, I have an issue with the proposed model put forward by the President, James Brayshaw. I don't think that it's fair to say that the AFL should come up with a better model and accept that doctors aren't at clubs enough and therefore shouldn't have to be um, adhered to or turned to with every, with every medical issue because it's not realistic. I don't accept that. I don't think that should ever change. And I think, in a way, Brad was almost backing up what I said today in that area, in that regard, because he doesn't think that... He thinks doctors should have the final say on every medical de decision as well. I don't think it's fair just to say doctors aren't around enough because they have other practices. Pay them more money, have them around the club an extra day or two, like some models work in AFL clubs. And it's being it's out of touch to suggest that you just have to accept that doctors don't want to be around and it's a waste of their time. I simply think clubs spend millions of dollars these days on so many different things collectively. And I, I don't see a bit of insurance in paying a doctor a bit of extra money, even when there might be days he doesn't do much, is any problem at all. Do you think the AFL is going to come over the top of all the clubs here and, and say exactly what's required with the doctors and, and what oh, can they, and can't they already be? Have. They already have, Matthew. They already are. They're absolutely coming over the top of them. And, you know, they've banned certain practices. They've restricted others. The Players Association... And this is, again, I have to say, I'm not talking about North Melbourne, but there are some clubs where the doctors have been overruled and have left because they felt they they weren't necessarily being respected. Um, think that might have happened might have happened in the past at a lot of clubs. That's not going to happen anymore if the AFL has its way, and um, that's why we ended up. You know, one of the reasons we've ended up with the debacle we have at the moment at Essendon. <laughs>